We are polishing the FD. We got this front fender pretty swirled up as you can see. Trying out this Malco one-step rejuvenator. Always wanted to try it so let's see how it does on this nice blue green paint. To do this fender we're trying out the orange pad priming it now and the Malco let's see how much it gets out of this paint. If it gets out 90% of it, we'll be happy. We can do the rest of the car with that. So we just did one pass using that pad and polish. You could see that we basically removed almost all the swirls. There's still some deep scratches here and there, but I'm not too worried about that. What I was shooting for is get rid of all the swirls like these, and then bring out the clarity in the paint, which we've done. And then on the flip side, we are working on the wheels here. So these are the work equips, as you know, with a polished lip. These were not protected lip. So they got all oxidized, as you can see. And then we're in the middle of polishing it. So we've gone ahead and done about three quarters of the wheel already. It's looking really good after just one pass. We are using white diamond metal polish and just a Ryobi drill with one of these, I don't know what these are made out of, some sort of like fabric polishing wheel. And super cheap, you can get a whole pack of those polishing wheels. Got like 10 of them. This was like $20, Amazon Prime. This bottle is probably around 15 to $20 and it will last you a really long time. To show you the back wheel, which has an even deeper lip. We haven't even touched this wheel yet. Look how dirty and oxidized that is. Absolutely disgusting. better it is now that looks insane get in between these bolts we have another attachment here it's the smallest one they got so this one will be able to fit in between each one so i think we're gonna give that a try we got the chemical guys max coat wheel guard so this is like high temp rated wheel wax we're gonna coat the lip and also the face of the wheels and this is gonna help repel water and break dust, and it's gonna keep that shine because you never wanna leave just bare polished aluminum uncoated because then any chemicals or water and dirt that gets in there, once you go to clean it, it's gonna leave behind a residue or it's gonna go ahead and scratch up your wheels again. So never leave it bare aluminum. And inside the car, we have some interior bits taken apart. Not a big issue, the speedometer actually just needs to be recalibrated. So right now at 100 kilometers, the car is supposed to be traveling 62 miles per hour. That's the correct conversion. However, I popped up my Waze app at 100 kilometers an hour. The car was only going 47. So it's definitely overstating the miles. And that could be in fact, partly due to just the bigger tires compared to the OEM tires. How many passes did we do? I did one of the one, one step and one. Yep, and then you're gonna hit it again with the the light polish on the top. Yeah.
give you a before of the rear wheel. You can see how nasty it is, how oxidized it is. Now we're gonna polish it and see how it looks. All right, here we go. This is one pass with the buffer. It is looking a thousand times better. All right, update. We got wheels polished, all four polished and coated. So we're good on that. Now we're doing the paint. Gabe did partial hood. He did both front fenders. I just completed the door and the quarter panel. I don't have the light here to show you, but I can take my phone out, give you a little bit of light to show you how much more clarity there is in the paint. The swirls were awful, but luckily the paint is pretty soft. So the swirls go away very quickly. So we didn't have to hit it with too much pad or pressure. And we're just using a pretty light cutting and even the regular one step polish was taking out a lot. But here is the B pillar that we also did partially. And if you go towards the roof where we did not do, you can see how many more swirls there are, like right there. And then coming back down, looks a lot better. So we're gonna hit it with the cutting compound and then do the one step after. But we should be able to get a lot of this out. We also fixed an issue with the waste gates and I'll tell you a little bit about that later. But basically, we were over boosting because the wastegate ports were plumbed completely opposite. It was pushing boost into the wastegate spring, basically not allowing them to open under boost. So that's why the car was hitting so much boost and I was getting like a boost cut about 6,000 RPM. So hopefully that goes away and we don't blow the engine up this time. All right, so just did a couple passes on here. Nothing too crazy. Let's wipe off the polish and see how it looks. You guys remember how bad it was before? Look at it now. That was just one stage polish. You can get rid of a lot with just one stage. Look at it now, incredible. Like I said, we go to 90% perfection. This is 31 year old paint. It's all original and it looks like this. This is an $80 Amazon Prime buffer. Came with the pads too and they work pretty well. So can't complain. You could definitely do this on your own on a budget. All right, we brought it out to the show. We got it all polished up. It's looking fantastic. Look at the rims, all polished out. They were all oxidized before. Check them out. Looks awesome. We also did a little bit of uh, detailing the interior, put some bits back together. Got the engine bay all sorted out, the vacuum lines all sorted out. 